Originally, the intro for this video was going to be a discovery show ripoff. You know, like those shows about logging or whatever, and they try to make it like sound interesting. And it would have looked something like this. That's a heifer, dude. That one log's probably worth twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna do that. Wow. Eco is pretty much hell. It's like Minecraft for adults who love Adderall, and I'm an adult who loves Adderall. I took the drug and I finished my homework. You might notice this video isn't as visually interesting as some of my other videos. Well, that's because despite having 300 plus hours in this game, I don't have any good footage. So I'm probably just gonna play like random game clips that don't even line up with what I'm actually saying. Isn't TikTok a crazy place? Whatever, that's fine with me. So before I talk about all the stupid bullshit that I wasted so much of my time on, we need to probably explain what this game actually is. Cause this game attracts about 800 players a day. So I'm pretty sure most of you watching have never even heard of it. After this video, I promise um. I will start doing popular games again, or at least things that you've probably heard of before. Unless there's a sponsor, then you know, I'll make whatever. Eco is a non-violent version of Minecraft that is somehow more mature while also having the graphics of one of those weird YouTube kids videos. You know what I'm talking about, probably. Basically, you get stars that allow you to pick up certain skills. However, leveling is based on time and not how much you actually grind in the game. Ain't nobody got time for that. The amount of time depends on what you're eating and how nice your house is. This is a very frustrating, yet also very interesting game design choice. As much like the real world, it forces people to work together. I personally don't know how to design a combustion engine, but that doesn't matter because someone else does, and because of that, I can just go drive a car around. I don't know what any of this shit is, and I'm scared. I feel like we take everything around us for granted and don't think about how much effort and knowledge went into something as simple as a telephone pole or a toilet. Eco plays off this concept well. Every little job is important because no one player can do everything on their own. Even tailoring. Tailoring is an important skill in this game. Tailors suck. Whoever picks that skill. So people open up shops and sell what they're able to make, thus forming a server-wide economy where goods are sold back and forth. Okay, cool, but why are we doing this? And why would I spend an hour of my life shoveling clay in a virtual game because I want to get into pottery? Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. You dirty bitch. So there's an asteroid headed toward your planet. Typically it will hit in about 28 days, like actual real life days. And we need to make lasers to destroy the asteroid before it ruins our beautiful planet. Or before we ruin our beautiful planet. You can't die in eco, however you need food in order to do anything. You have a circle that shows you how many calories you have and when that's gone you can't do anything. I'm f***ing hungry, okay? Can't make anything, can't hit anything, you can't hit on anyone. Nah, I'm just kidding, chat still works, that's, you can always hit on people, although you shouldn't. So food is very important, and the production of lasers is important. However, the more production you have, the less food you'll likely have. <laughs> so beating the game becomes a balance of production and also not polluting the entire world. If it sounds hard, it's really not. At least in my experience it wasn't. And in every single server I played on, I made it my goal to maximize pollution because I'm a psychopath and I love when things are gross and dirty. This is my garbage! But that's a very brief explanation of this game. It's actually incredibly deep and anyone who has played Eco is probably foaming at the mouth because I hardly scratched the surface of the nuances of this game. So good, if you play Eco, I hope you hated that. Bro, you tripping! <laughs> okay, so by now you probably asked yourself, why is this guy in a dog cage? Well, for one, it's a little more comfortable than you might think, but mainly I feel like this encapsulates my mental state while playing this game, trapped in a cage. I made a video once about games that ruin my life, and if you've seen that, you'll be able to connect the dots to see that this game has everything I love. Building, crafting, capitalism. It's like crack to me. And I feel the best way to do this video is to go through the four servers I played on and give a brief explanation of what I did and why I rage quit each and every one of them. I even rage quit a server named Chill Eco. I, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, server number one. My friend Wild Wayne showed me this game. Spit all over my tonsils. Rip Wild Wayne. 
He didn't, he didn't die or anything, he just moved out of my house and I still miss him all the time. But I played on a server with him and his friends from Michigan, and I learned that I am a dick. Okay, well I didn't like learn that I'm a dick, but it was reaffirmed. Never too late to stop being a dick. I was yelled at for treating people like NPCs. I was telling everybody what to do. Although, if you really think about it, I think I was the NPC because, you know, in video games, NPCs give out quests. So all I was doing was giving quests out. I'm the NPC and everybody else was a real person because I was telling them what to do. Please stop telling me this pointless story. The logic is there. If you can't see it, then you're dumb. But anyways, it did hurt hearing this because it was true. I was trying to be controlling over people that I can barely call acquaintances because I wanted things my way rather than letting people do what they wanted to. I'm actually pretty sure I don't even have footage from this server at all because this was well before my addiction and I did not plan on making a video about this game. This server ended up fizzling out and we never destroyed the asteroid. Mainly we were all just kind of learning the game and realizing how wrong we were playing it. You know, since we were communists but I didn't learn my lesson. Server number two. The second server we played on, I actually created, Trip's World of Pain. Anybody who subscribes might have seen uh, this community post. It got 45 likes. That is awesome, guys. But anyways, I spent $40 on a server, then I spent $60 to buy the game for two of my friends, officially putting the total amount I spent on Eco at $130. This scary black bar is what you spend on things that no one ever, ever needs. This, this is not a brag. This is a cry for help. At first, things were great. Random people were joining, we had the perfect starting base area, and everyone was hard at work. Except, we never learned the lesson that communism just isn't that good. Anyway, now on to why we actually need communism. Me and all my friends lived under just one land claim meaning that we had access to all of each other's shit. We called this land claim China, mainly because we planned on polluting the entire world, much like Ch Sorry, I had to bleep that in case China ever takes over the world, because I don't want to start off with a terrible social credit score. So just imagine I'm saying really nice things about China right now. But since we all had rights on the land, we didn't need to sell anything to each other. This is cool for us, but for anybody else on the server, it was just kind of pointless. There was no economy, just me and my friends making things for each other. Pay the poo tax or relapse on that dope, dog. So after a few days, all the randoms that joined stopped logging in. Then my friends stopped logging in. And despite how lonely it was toiling away in the mines and workshops all by myself, I eventually made the lasers and all the generators that were needed to power them. But despite everybody kind of just quitting the server, for some reason everybody was still super invested in seeing the actual meteor blow up. The problem was we could never seem to find time to all get online together to blow it up. So even though everything was ready to go to beat the game, I was just kind of stuck in this little city we created, all by myself, just waiting to save the world. So instead of playing something else, I joined another server. Don't worry, I'll explain how Trip's World of Pain ended uh, later on in the video, but for now we need to talk about Holy Cows. Holy Cows was the first server I joined where I didn't know anyone. Now, did these people like me? Mm, you know, probably not. They probably thought I was a little weird. I joined the Discord like right away and then immediately hopped into a discussion about what we should call the server-wide currency. So in Eco, when you make a mint, you're able to just start printing currency that everybody on the server can use. And once you make it, you get to name it. Now they wanted to call it Cowcoin, you know, cause holy cows. Oh, okay, I get it now. But they also wanted to stick with the religious theme. So I suggested we called the currency Virgins. Right? Such a good idea, you know? Like, oh, how many virgins is an iron bar? Or, I'll buy a salad from you for a half a virgin. It's great. I loved it. Uh, they told me this was a family-friendly server and that wouldn't work. Which is fine. It's their rules. Except for one of the most active members on that server was a guy named GuccicUm69. So part of me feels like it wasn't about keeping things PG. 
because this guy's running around on full blast like this. What do you mean I can't have come on it? But Gucci Cum wasn't just a guy with a dumb name, he was my rival. We had pretty much all the same skills, meaning we were competing in the marketplace. The problem with this is there's only one engineer on the server, and it seemed like every time we got new tech, Gucci Cum would get first dibs. Like blast furnaces are a huge step up from bloomeries when you're trying to smelt metals. And somehow Gucci Cum got two of them, and I had to beg for one of them to go on sale on the market. And yes, I do realize that I'm whining about the same exact thing that me and my friends did on the last server. The irony is not lost on me, but under the constitution, I can still complain even when I'm wrong. Trump will show me his ass but all this is water under the bridge because I got a new star, I moved closer to the city, and I was going to become the de facto oil guy on the server, is what I thought. Hell, I even named my land claim Texas. I spent all my money on stuff to start producing oil, and that's what I did, extremely slowly. Because after setting everything up, I realized there is a heat map for oil, and I was in one of the driest zones on the map. So even though I got a one day head start, I was producing it at like a 10th of the speed of Gucci Cum. At this point, I felt so dumb that I couldn't continue on this server. I had a great time and I hope one day to compete in an open market with Gucci Cum again. So I deeded my property over to Thorny, the lead engineer on the server, and I logged off. But of course, I was not done with this game quite yet. So this last server is where things start to get interesting. At this point, I understand the game. I know how the mechanics work, and I understand the shops and the economy. How much for the quarter? Why would I sell a quarter? It's worth 25 cents. I'm not gonna go lower than- 24 cents. So I decided to give it one last go, and I joined a server named Chill Eco. And this server was pretty great. You get four free stars to start with, everything is super cheap to make, and the mods make it easier than ever to collect resources. It's like Eco on easy mode, which, after all the grinding I did on those other servers, I was completely fine with. But it's important to note that this server has rules. One of the rules is you cannot complain about someone else's prices. The other is that multiple accounts are okay. Now when I first read these, I didn't really think of how much it's going to impact the game. So basically, there were two people on the server that had multiple accounts. One of these people, or persons I guess, was named Black Mamba, Viper, and Taipan. I'm a snake. They just named themselves after a bunch of snakes, which is funny to me because they also kind of just elected themselves president. And I know what you're thinking, and yes, of course, I made a bunch of jokes in chat about how our president is a snake. Because I didn't vote for him, so he's not my president. Or China's president, because... The other person was Thick Tony, or Thick and Tony. Now, they said they were a woman, but I did not believe that for even a second. And after a little sleuthing, I found their Twitch channel, and they are, in fact, a big hairy man. I would love to show you, but doxing isn't really cool, so instead you can look at this. You're welcome. But anyways, I was no-lifing this server pretty hard, which leads me back to the first rule. You can't complain about prices. Which was a convenient rule for me because I was selling everything I possibly could way cheaper than everybody else on the server. Much like China but me selling everything for dirt cheap really pissed off our president, which really made me happy. Cause after all, why does he care? He doesn't need money anyways. He's got three accounts. Anything he needs, he could just make himself. And because of this, a problem arose when we got to the later stages of the game. And I just didn't have enough stars to keep up production with Thick Tony. See, because Thick Tony had two accounts, he had a combined 14 stars, where I only have seven. I have nothing! This was really frustrating to me, because no matter how hard I grind, I just couldn't dominate the market. And yeah, I know, I'm a psychopath for wanting to dominate the market in a stupid video game, but just move past it, this video's almost over. This all accumulated in me getting really drunk one day and going on a rant and yelling at both Black Mamba and Thick Tony. At some point during my drunken bitching, I realized I'm sitting here yelling at people in a virtual game who are following the server's rules all because I'm upset that I can't make a bulldozer without anyone else's help. What the f am I doing? And just like that, after my beautiful revelation, I deeded my property over to someone named Hot Cheeto because they were a cool person. And finally, I uninstalled the game. So 
yeah, I never actually beat the game, and I don't know what it looks like to blow up the meteor. You might be wondering, well, what the hell happened with the second server you were on where you had everything set up? Well, I just told my friends to do it, because I was not going to reinstall that game. So my brother and Brett logged in and did it on their own. Despite putting everything together, I wasn't a part of actually beating the game. And they fucked up the recording, so all I have is this audio. You're positive you got it on screen record? Yeah. Great job, Brett. Really appreciate that one, big guy. Oh wait, one last thing I wanna talk about. I told everybody in the chat that I got a, a cigarette box tattooed onto my side. Some guy named Navy Blue called me cringe. I got it for my dad. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Wow, what a great video. <laughs>